Hi friends, it's Allison. Welcome back to AJ's Inspired Life. Welcome back to the Halloween Journal Challenge. I am participating um, and trying to keep up with, with the daily prompts, which I'm not. Um, but if you are interested, um, I have a few pictures on my Instagram and I have been filming the last couple pages because it was requested uh, just to see the process, which, you know, but please go over to Kia Creates and Inspire, Inspiring Journals, Inspiring Journals, uh, because and hashtag the Halloween Journal Challenge 2024 or just 24. I will uh, post it in the link below. Uh, the pages that people are doing are like really amazing and the artwork is pretty cool. So if you are up for some inspiration there and want to see, you know, what some of the people are doing, uh, you can do absolutely anything. You can do it um, as a journal page. You can add it to a journal page. You can add it to your planner. You can add a sticker to something if you want. It's completely up to you. So uh, the page I'm working on is the 10th and it is Apple Orchard. Now, um, I'm not too sure. I'm trying to get the other videos to post, but uh, the last two pages I've done have, we've painted a tree. So I'm not painting a tree on this one, which would seem like the logical place to paint a tree, <laughs> but I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So what did I do? I think, you know what? We're just going to have fun with this one. I, um, I gathered some apples. I gathered some, I cannot, I know I have a piece of paper that has apples on it. Now I did find some scraps of it in my scrap drawer. I just don't remember using the whole thing, but it, it may, it may have happened, which is a good, good thing. So, um, I have this off of a bag of apples that, um, I bought at the grocery store yesterday. I'm not too sure that zip thing. I, I don't think this part's actually going to come off. So it will be a little bumpy. I don't think it peels off like on a coffee thing and I don't want to rip it. So I have this apple. I have an apple sticker. I have this little um, chipboard set that I've had for years and it has apple here. And um, moving out of moving out of like October colors a little bit. This was a pack I tried to use obviously where that came from for September. And I, I mean, I love the colors in here. So I thought maybe like for Apple Orchard, we might go back to kind of this color scheme as opposed to um, Halloween, you know, um, whoops, and I'm dropping stuff. So we're not going to use this piece, obviously, because that's just beautiful. Um, no, it's to me, those colors are more like August. You know, if you've been here a while, you know that. Um, I have some very definitive things in my brain about where, what colors go. And August is blue and orange. So if you're new here, welcome. Super glad you're here. If you're not, welcome back. Uh, these are some robots. So I'm probably going to take apart this kit is what I feel like. Well, maybe we don't need to spend time doing that tonight. I guess I'll put this stuff back in here. Um, I, I think it's probably time to take apart this kit though. Um, but we'll, we'll keep the pieces in there for right now of stuff we're not going to use. So let's see what we have. We have some like green, which is fun. This is green and red. I think we'll just plan on, let's just do it. Let's just use it up. Um, the other thing I thought about doing, and it might be fun. Maybe we'll, maybe we will collage this together. Let's see what not collage, like, um, like make a master board. I don't think, well, I know we don't have enough Apple paper, but we could figure something out. So maybe we'll do something like that. This is just a pain. So we'll cut, use the smallest scissors you have, Allison. Um, This, uh, when papers get like this with these loose things and stuff, they drive me bananas. Um, so we're going to see if we can release some of that. Okay. Uh, okay. In an, oh, something's wrong with my finger. I feel like I have a, 
that's interesting. I feel like I have a little hmm, huh, glass shard or something. What on earth? Okay. Don't need this. Recycle. Okay. Would it be fun to... We could kind of just put some stripes on here. The problem is this one's like also red, right? We actually need a little green. And I happen to have... Oh my gosh, what did I do with it? I just used it. I just used it. What did I do with it? I said, this is a fun green. Um, well, I certainly have some others, but, oh, here it is. Yeah, fun green. Okay, so what do you think if we All right, let's do something a little different. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut some pieces that aren't straight. That'll be fun. Oh, this guy is tired. I need a new blade. It only goes one way. This was. Um, Recipes in a magazine, I guess. Yeah. Um, I'm not really in the mood for this. I can tell you that right now. Yeah, be careful and don't get too feisty with me because I will just replace you. <laughs> I'm not measuring these. I'm sure you can kind of see that. I had a little bit more of an edge over here on the last one, but we're just gonna eyeball this and cut them into some pieces. They are not all the exact same and that's okay. So. We'll try that. And we'll do the same with this one. My vision is that this will look kind of like, not patchwork, but you know, kind of a gridded background. And, and then we'll put a title on top of it and a picture. That's kind of what I'm thinking. We're gonna create a background paper almost with these pieces. And then we're gonna, um, put like a title on the top. We'll see. It's a beginning vision. How about that? We could... I really think I would like to use this for my title. Is that big enough? It is not. Okay. So let's, let's see if we have enough. Let's see if we have enough. Okay. Let's um, just glue. You know, what would be fun is if my spray glue worked, it does not. And I don't know why. Um, I don't think I've ever used it. Yeesh, capiche. All right. I don't know the rule with this. I can tell you that if I start from the middle, sometimes it works a little better for me. Other times... Um, I definitely want to start from the outside, so I have no idea, no idea. And it doesn't, like I said, really matter. 
So we'll just kind of do some glue in here for a bit. The problem is I do need another red. Do we like this red or is that too much? I'm tempted to use this one because I'm not going to use this for my title. So let's do that. And we're going to like do that. to get some pieces. Okay, let's play. Let's play. Red. I guess I could Mod Podge these on as well. Green. That makes this one an apple, yeah? This is why I normally rip pages because um, I don't cut them all equal. <laughs> And then you wind up with weird little, you know, things like this. So we'll make a weird little pile down here and see what we get to. How about that? All right. I don't think I'm going to have enough is the problem, but that's okay. Like we could add this in as well. This one might be fun. This one's fun because it has straight lines on it, so I can only screw it up so much. As you can see, um, I can still cut crooked on a straight line. How do you like me? All right, let's see what we can do. Um, We could get out a better glue stick is what I could do. I don't care if they're overlapping. I think that's, my eye is more happy with that anyway. So I don't need every edge on this to be perfect. So we're going to, we're going to allow that. And I think I'm going to put a border on here. So just so we have our bearings on what we're doing there. And I guess I'll put that one going down as well. This seems like like this has to be red, but I don't want it to be another pattern, do I? So that means it has to be red apples. See how quickly we get into kind of things aren't matching up? It's <laughs> uh, all right. We're going to call it what it is and that's just like a fun journal project for the night so yeah okay that makes this one we'll do it that way All right, and is this a green apple here? Sure. Okay. See, I'm actually, I, I like those corners. Yeah. So we'll get in here. Like that. 
yeah, I actually really like that. So I know everyone has a different eye, but it's okay. Okay, what do we have left? We need probably some green down here. And we'll get Now I have a little edge here. We'll just have to decide what we're going to do. We could marker it. We could do a lot of things. So we're going to let it be for now. All right. This one we'll put across this way. I don't like it there. So it's got to go there. I didn't want it like directly under this one. So I want to offset it a little bit. Okay. So that's how that decision came to be. And then, yeah, if I were cutting my pictures, I mean, if, if I was tearing, you know, I would cut these a little different sizes, but tearing, I think takes longer. Okay. And it seems like green apple would fit in here pretty well. And look nice. All right. Okay, guys, it's like nine o'clock. Well, it's past nine, but at nine o'clock a little while ago, my husband texted me. He is in Texas and they had not eaten dinner yet. Uh, mind you, it's nine o'clock my time. It's at least 10 o'clock their time. <laughs> oh my goodness. I would not, I would not be faring well. I can tell you that. Someone would need to feed me. <laughs> They're working a convention, you know, show thing all day. So, although he did send me a picture midday at the pool. So I'm like, dude, live your best life. Okay. I like that up there. I realize I'm making a hole like a, um, like this is a hole and this is a hole. Now, again, if I had... And again, we could cut up little pieces. They just were a little uniform, but, and now the top may not be. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's okay. Let's do a green up here. Now I have two green. Oh, I have more green paper though. Okay. So I could slip this under here and that seems like an easy fit. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. All right. This. Okay, could be purple. Purple with the purple glue. This can be green. This can be. This one. Okay. All right. I need or want a one of these maybe over here. Let's do that. All right. There's that. And then this goes here, right? But then we have a little tiny spot right there. Well, we're just gonna wing it. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. I mean, 
I could, I could make two, right? I have two short ones. So we'll do that. I'd rather have an overhang. Well, I could cut it too, but I'd rather have an overhang, obviously, than um, than a blank spot that we have to like try and fill. Those should kind of go together. Why? Well, they don't. So we're gonna pretend like they do. Okay, there's that. All right, we still have some apples. That's exciting. I have some green, so green, sure. And then we have this one spot left and we of course don't have a piece that's missing. Okay. Well, we do. The only piece that's, we could do solid green, it looks like we probably should do that, huh? Let's do that, and then if we want, we can add that little border somewhere else for fun. All right, we'll do that. And we'll cut it off here. All right. So we also still have this little piece down here which that's not gonna fit, but it's okay. We again could make two. What do we want there? It's interesting because we have green apple, red apple, and green paper. So it, I feel like, like this would be an option, but it's too close. So I actually think this is the best option down here. Again, it's very close to this, which I'm not a total fan of. Well, what do you think? What do you think? Um, we could do more green apple, which might make me happier. Is that any longer or are they all the same? I think that's pretty close. Let's put green apple here and then That'll be done. Okay. And we'll cut it off here. All right. Okay, there's our Apple page. That's exciting. So my thought was I have these little borders. So we could put these on here like this. We could also put them on the top and the bottom. I don't have enough to do like all of it. It's, it's one or the other, right? So we could do top and bottom. So let's just play with it and see what we want to do. So my thought was, let's move all this because we're not going to use that. My thought was we would use um, the word apple. Okay, and here's another little chipboard apple. This is fun, we're using our stuff. Um, ooh, trash and trash and trash. Oh, here's two more apples. We're using them, friends. This is, this is the day, because, you know, if not now, then when? Okay, I have like this ribbon that could be fun. I do have kind of this yellow that could be fun also and bring out, see this yellow right here? Um, I'm tempted, let's pull that. All right, and maybe not the ribbon. And then we have the um, word farm and we also have this little border. Let's pull that and we're gonna pull farm because apple orchard and apple farm, eh, you know, close, right? 
So, there's that. And I think this apple's like, you know, on here. And I have this giant apple. And I have this apple sticker. And yes, we're going to use it all. Yes, we are, friends. Okay, so I think we have to decide the apple either goes on red a p p l e Ooh, what are the chances of me losing that little L? My goodness. Okay. We also have the word farm. So do we want it separate? Let's see what our choices are. You guys, I bought these page kits. I bought like five of them um, probably 20 years ago. 15 maybe. Okay. I'm just looking if I have another little piece that I want to use. I don't think I do. So, um, we could, you know, kind of make it all one. This could go over it. I don't want it just stacked. Um, I'm, I'm hesitant to do that because I, I don't think I want this wide of a title thing on here, if that makes sense. But maybe I do because I don't know if I want to separate it. Now, my other thought is we could put the word apple like on the apple, but I don't think we have the room. Oh, maybe we do because that would give us, that would do it. Okay, we're going to make that work. Let's. Mm, okay. What do we. Ooh, sorry if I bonked you. Let's get some glue on here. I'm going to put it a little bit closer to the top. I'm going to save a little room. I think we have room for an apple somewhere. And the glue is workable enough that we can move it just a bit. Okay, I'm liking that. I'm going to I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to glue this whole thing on right here. I'm going to put some glue on half of it. And I'm going to do something like that. That's not quite how I wanted it. Okay, we're going to... We're going to overlap it like that. Okay. Yeah, cute. Okay, these are adhesive. However, well, I'm going to try them. I, I don't know. They're pretty old. I, I just don't know how how well they'll hang in there, but you know, we can always glue them later and I'm gonna, I'm going to run out of room. <laughs> oh, well they're sticking pretty well is what they're doing. So now we have made life choices. That's what we've done, which is fine.
No problemo. There we go. Okay. Do you ever spell words and think you're spelling them wrong, even though, like, you know? <laughs> it's like, is that how you spell apple? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, what's... Oh, okay. That's interesting. So when I took the sticker off, it actually took the adhesive of the cardstock. This is just the cardstock. Yeah, that's not surprising to me at all. Like I said, these are super old. Okay, there we go. That's exciting. I actually would like to cut this Um, I'm going to try and leave roughly the same amount on each side. So I already had a border over here, so I wanted to leave roughly the same amount over here. Now I can still bring it down more, but I wanted to at least start there. Okay, so that's kind of where we're at now. Um, if I... I still want to use this guy, <laughs> but I may not. I may not. Um, and these guys are a little big for here, but, oh, they kind of look like cherries, don't they? That's weird. They're not cherries. They're apples. Um, I have three little borders. So here's the red one. And I, I may not use it. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm also thinking if we don't want to border our page, we could border the title card in the middle. So, um, like I said, this title could go here or this border could go here and here, which is kind of fun. It could go here and here, which is also kind of fun. And we could border our title card, which I don't like. So we're going to run it down the sides. That, uh, And by doing this, I'm just going to actually put the glue on the paper. Somewhat straight, maybe. We're about to find out. All right, there's that. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And then we'll have Okay, this guy I'm gonna um, actually put some tape on. I think, well, we could actually add a little glue right there if we wanted to. Oh my goodness, there we go. I'm trying not to touch the letters on the other side and knock them loose. All right. Okay. I will go ahead and add some liquid glue to this thing. It's cardstock and this one's a sticker, but all right. And then it's a matter of where all that time we spent gluing those perfect pieces in the middle I think we are not going to add the big apple. So I was going to try and like, you know, but I feel like that covers up so much. I think I'm going to drop this down just a tad to, okay. Do you see this right here? I don't, I don't want that little tiny piece. So I'm going to drop it down even a little bit more. 
so we don't have that one weird little edge. And now that's on there. That decision's definitely made and not coming up without destroying the page. We can cut these guys off. Okay, so there's that. So we're not going to use this little piece because I don't feel the need to, you know, we could include it anywhere, but I don't think we need to do that. And we don't need to add these in. We do have these apples still. This one's kind of fun, but again, they're looking a little like cherries to me. Oddly, I mean, this, I really like that apple. I still would love to use this guy on here, even if we didn't use him all, but I just don't think that's gonna happen. And I think he's too big for my journal page today, but we'll try it over there if I don't use him here, certainly. Okay, so there's that. But I do think, I mean, even if I cut it off, right, we could kind of do something like that. But I, yeah, I think I'm going back to kind of my scrapbooky. <laughs> um, and I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Okay, so that's going to be the page. This little bunch of yumminess is going to go back into the bag for the next time. Um, and that is going to be our page for tonight or today for the prompt Apple Orchard. Again, I think Apple Orchard and Apple Farm are pretty, pretty close. So we're gonna, we're gonna call it done, all right? That's it for me, you guys. I actually really like it. I'm really, really enjoying this challenge. So um, if you are not like jumping in, please consider doing so. Again, there's no like rules. There's no, you missed some and you can't make it up. You can do whatever you want. And so, um, again, even if you were to just include an Apple thing into your journal, that would completely count or into your planner. So please, um, please consider it because it's super fun. And I'm really enjoying like the challenge and kind of the creativity and working with some things that, again, I wouldn't normally put into my page today. And um, I'm just super grateful. So um, that's going to be it for me. I hope you guys are having a great day, a great week. I hope you're creating documenting your days, whatever those happen to be. And then go over and follow the um, Halloween Journal Challenge 2024. And um, I will leave the link below as well. Okay. Thanks for being here. You guys have a great night and I hope you find something today that inspires you.